This is not just a phone. This is also a jam-packed mobile live streaming device. Let's talk about it. Oh yes, my friends, we see all kinds of people live streaming from their fancy studios, kind of like mine, with their fancy cameras and their fancy microphones, but not everybody has all of that fancy gear. And what if you need to be on the road, mobile streaming, out and about, taking a tour? Heck, maybe you just simply don't even have a computer and all you have is a phone. You can absolutely create amazing live videos. Okay, let's first talk about how to use StreamYard on your phone, it's super easy. You're just gonna go to StreamYard.com and it's gonna open up your dashboard if you're an existing user. Now, if you're not logged in or you're a new user, it's only gonna take you just about a minute to get created an account or get logged in. So you're gonna notice here that it's a simplified version of what you're used to seeing on the desktop, which is totally fine. But to create a broadcast, you're simply gonna go to Create, New Broadcast, and as you can see, you're gonna pick your destination there and you're gonna have a title where you're gonna type in, I'm just gonna say Demo, done. I'm going to type in a description. I'm literally just going to say demo because you know, we're just doing a demo here, right? And then literally you're going to notice that you also have the record only option as well. So scroll down, you actually can schedule this for later if you want. And then you're going to go to create broadcast. Now I will say that as a bonus tip, one thing I always suggest is that you get your stuff set up from a desktop computer if you are gonna be adding your own graphics and things, which I'll show you in a moment. Now, you're gonna to need to give StreamYard access to your phone uh, camera and your phone microphone, so you just click allow, and then it's going to be, you're, there you are, you're gonna be on camera, right? So, and of course, you can stop the camera at any point by clicking on stop cam, and of course, you can click on that mute button as well. Now, your settings are all there, so that if you want to do it the rear camera, you actually will need to click on settings and go to camera, and then scroll down, and you will see here where you can say, I wanna use the back camera, but we're gonna use the front camera for this, right? You also have the option to mirror your camera as well. So let's go back, and we're gonna close out settings, and now we're basically ready to go live. So we're actually going to enter the studio. I can of course do change my name if I want right here. I can just go ahead and say Melanie if we want. And then we're ready, we're in the studio. Now you're gonna notice a lot of things in the studio that are also part of the desktop version of StreamYard. Now when I say desktop version, it's really the, the still a web browser version. It's StreamYard.com just on a computer. It's just a little bit different. So you notice that you will be able to display comments, which is one of my favorite features of StreamYard. And talk about increasing engagement. Displaying those comments is really gonna help you increase engagement. And you just click on that comment and then you click on it again to make it go away. Now, one of the other features I love about StreamYard are the fact that you can create your own custom calls to action or banners. So all you're gonna do is click on that banner tab right on your phone, pick whatever folder you have set up. Again, I like to set all this stuff up ahead of time. And then let's just, I'll show you right here. Here is a beautiful banner that you can display right here inside the mobile app. So again, a lot of really great features that you cannot necessarily do when you're just natively using the Facebook app or the YouTube app when you wanna go live. And then of course, branding, if you have overlays, if you're on one of our paid plans, you can also upload your own logo, change your logos from here, of course, and display overlays right inside of the mobile version here as well. Same thing goes for playing videos midstream. Same thing goes for, um, you know, there's an overlay there. Same thing goes for playing music as well. So there is music inside of the StreamYard application. So if you wanna play background music while you're streaming with your mobile phone, you certainly can do so as well. Another one of those really awesome features that you can use when you are using the mobile app. Whoopsies, did I say mobile app? There's not an app yet, but all you need to do is go to StreamYard.com on your web browser, on your phone. There's not really any need for an app. Now there is something else that's worth pointing out and that is the more button right here. When you select that, you're actually gonna access other menu options, but the one that's really important is the layout option. This is actually where if you have a guest on screen with you because heck yes, you can use StreamYard.com on mobile to interview guests when you're live, yes. You are actually gonna be able to change that layout option when you do have a guest on screen with you if you prefer to be cropped in or cropped all the way out when you have your guest. So I wanted to point that out for sure. Now we're ready to go live. All we gotta do is click on that little blue button right there and we will be live in whatever destination we chose when we were setting up our stream. It's super easy and super fun. Okay, now that we've covered the best way to go live using a mobile phone using StreamYard.com, let's also to cover a few more tips that are important so that you have one of the best experiences, including your audience. Something very, very, very critical. 
you must have a strong internet signal in order to use your mobile phone to go live. Now, whether this be a cellular signal, if you're really truly out and about on location, or maybe you are connected to your Wi-Fi, so your wireless router somewhere, be as close to that Wi-Fi router as possible so that you absolutely have the strongest signal because if your signal goes down, it's gonna interrupt your stream. Now, it won't turn off your stream, but it will interrupt your stream and you might be a little pixelated, which is never very much fun. Another critical thing that I always recommend is that you have a really good mobile friendly tripod. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have a clip on your tripod. You can get a regular standard you know, camera tripod or you can actually just buy a tabletop tripod wherever you're streaming from, whatever you need. But the reason why a tripod is so critical is because it's gonna help that phone stay steady. When you're holding that phone with your hand and you're holding it out, it is gonna get a little shaky and it's not a very good experience for your audience and quite frankly, it makes some people dizzy. The other thing that's gonna happen is that if you're using StreamYard.com and you wanna be clicking around those banners and displaying comments, this is a lot easier to do when your phone is actually mounted onto a tripod. So definitely make sure you get yourself a good tripod. Now, my third tip is to actually plug your phone in. Oh, I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone going live and then all of a sudden they're like, oh no, I'm about to run out of battery. We do not want that to be used. So at all times, I always recommend plug your phone in. Even if you have a full charge on your battery, when you're streaming and you're using that camera the whole time, it is going to drain that battery pretty fast. And so depending on how long you wanna go live, and maybe you don't even know how long you wanna go live, you definitely wanna be plugged in so that that isn't even gonna be a problem for you. Okay, my fourth tip is to try to find a quiet space, <laughs> if possible. So if you're live streaming outside, anything like that, if it's really windy, it is typically going to cause a little bit of audio issues. So if possible, find yourself a quieter space or a quiet room somewhere where you can actually avoid any of that crazy background noise because again, not a really fun thing and you might lose your viewers if it's too noisy and the audio is not very good. Well, there you have it. Now you know the best way to go live using a mobile device, simply using StreamYard.com. You get all those awesome features that StreamYard offers so that you're gonna get better engagement and more raving fans. So to learn more about getting those raving fans and to improve your live streaming skills, definitely check out other videos we have on the channel. I've got some of them on screen with me as well as down in the comments below. I'll see you guys later.